So, man, I love this film. I thought it was great. All <laughs> right, on. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, from uh, 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 I see your dog in the background. Hi, dog. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the the actors were wonderful. It looked beautiful. Um, uh, and the story, like I went into it thinking it was going to be one thing and mm. it was totally not that. And it was just really wonderful. Well done. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. How did you guys come up with the, like the initial story? Uh, my dad was a jockey and I grew up in this world of horse racing. And just once I got a little older and became a filmmaker, I realized that no matter, there were quite a few uh, horse racing movies, but none of them really captured the feeling in my mind of what it felt like to be behind the barns and, and be in this weird little family that's, that's created back there. And so that's where the initial germ came from. So how did you, you guys wrote this specifically for uh, Clifton, right? Yeah. Uh, Clifton, um, we began our friendship um, actually in our previous film, Trans Pecos, he was one of the stars of, and immediately we were amazed by just how interior he, he is as an actor, how deep he goes into every word and gesture um, but then at the same time, he doesn't sacrifice that for for really being of the world he's acting in and, and, and drawing so much from the people there. And so that made an immense impression on us. But but a after shooting that film in the years between both these projects, we our friendship deepened and we became so much aware of other qualities about him as a human being that we hadn't seen yet on film. And we just thought, what if this movie could be a vessel for everything that we we know of Clifton and, and admire about him, he's such a wonderful actor, and he's terrific in this. How do you, uh, like? Does he need a lot of uh, directing? <laughs> no, he Clifton does uh, so much in in his research, and he asks so many questions that you know it gets to the point where you're like, "Why are you asking this?" And you don't realize what he's thinking about and exploring until like a scene that you're shooting five days later and you're like, oh, this was the thing that he was asking for. Um, but it was really it was really brilliant to, to work with him as a director because on the one hand, no, he doesn't need much um, because he gets so deep into the character and so deep into the world that that he knows so much. But then also like any little adjustments that that I would give him. Um, he just takes them and runs with them and makes them better than any any little note you give him. How did you guys find um, uh, Molly and uh, uh, Moises? Uh, well, we we were aware of them just because of the tremendous work they've been doing their whole careers. Um, you know, Molly was someone we had in mind from the from the writing phase. It wasn't sort of built with her in mind, but as soon as it was like, okay, who could play this? Um, she was without without a doubt our first choice. And, um, and it's really just this kind of presence thing she has. It's an energy that, that comes into every scene she steps through. Um, and also just kind of all the, the secrets she keeps behind her eyes. There's so many mysteries to her. Uh, and Moises, you know, Clint, Clint had originally imagined uh, the role of Gabriel as a, as a professional real life jockey. And we, we, we thought there would be, if, if any actor could play it it would be Moises and if he said no uh, we were going to cast an actual jockey in the part but thankfully he did because he does so much in 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 his stillness um and in his restraint um there's so much feeling behind everything he does yeah the other actual jockeys in in the film they were actually jockeys right I'm thinking yeah yeah there were a lot of uh there were actual jockeys there were actual trainers um actual grooms and uh, even the veterinarian is played by the general manager of the track, Vincent Francia. Um, and so it was something that like just brought so much authenticity with, with having real jockeys play jockeys and, and, and use our actors to kind of uh, fold into their world. Um, just brought so much more than anything you could describe to, to an actor in, in terms of, um, in terms of, you know, signing on these supporting parts. That final scene in the film, um, that is just like the cherry on top of this great movie. Like, uh, did you guys initially know that you were going to do that, that whole like tracking shot? I mean, just following Clifton's face, I mean, it just goes through this whole range of emotions. Like, it's like a life in, those, in that like minute. We actually, it took a while to get to that ending. Um, and we had written, I think, five or six different endings, and, and everyone had a different idea. 
for an ending. I had one, Adolfo had one, and we ended up landing on, uh, Greg came up with this very simple thing of just being on his face as we had been for the movie. And it was so perfect. And then as soon as we kind of orchestrated it and, and, and gave Clifton what we were going to do, uh, Clifton did not need much instruction. He just like, I got it. Just, just I'll, I'll do what I do. And, and yeah, it's so much plays across his face more than anything you could say or anything like that. Yeah. Also that musical track, uh, Felicity um, by Hologram uh, was something that Clint had put together a playlist for the whole cast and crew. And this track somehow became our anthem. We would listen to it every night driving home from the racetrack to the hotel. And so for it to be the thing that closes out this film um, is so fitting. Yeah, man, uh, that's my time. But wonderful, wonderful job. I loved it. And yeah, you guys rock. Thank you, Lance. <laughs> you rock too, Lance. Thanks. <laughs> See you guys.